today's video, we're going to be showing you how to stop trips tied in sets in Madden 24. We're going to be using a match concept that not a lot of people know that you can create out of pretty much any play. You just need to call a play that doesn't already have match coverage within it, meaning you don't want to be calling cover six, cover four palms, cover three, uh, or uh, cover four quarters, but you can call things like cover three, cover two, even man coverage, and this concept will apply. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, it's going to show you literally everything that I do to stop pretty much every meta offense in the game, as well as the best blitzes and the best approaches for um, stopping the run out of this formation. If you want to get access to that, join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. For just ten bucks, you can become a Patreon member and get access to all of our Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates that we do. And we actually just updated our dollar three two defense. Now we're talking today about cover two press. The only thing you really need to have in your coaching settings is if you're on next gen, you want to put your zone coverage on match. If you are on current gen, then um, you don't really need to have, you just need to not have any zone drops set. Next gen, you don't need zone drops either. You need to make sure all these are on default and your zone coverage is on match. So for the concept, what we're going to be doing is actually, whoops, sorry, I forgot one little step. If you're wanting to run the cover two press blitz, you want to turn auto clip off so that it's always on uh, the left hand side of the screen. Okay, now we're ready to get on the field. So once we're on the field here, um, the adjustments are essentially fairly simple. We're going to be taking advantage of some matching concepts. You don't have to press uh, at all to get this to work properly. What we're going to do is we're going to put the outside cornerback on the trip side of the formation on an outside quarter. We're going to put the inside uh slot cornerback there we're going to man him up onto that number two receiver in the trips formation and then we are going to put the safety on that side in the inside quarter so essentially those are the three adjustments now just for the purpose of the video we're going to put everybody else on the field on spies and we're just going to man the tight end up just because we can't blitz down the spot the only thing i want you to watch here is i want you to watch how these three defenders on the left hand side are going to interact with a lot of different route concepts one of the most popular meta route combinations out of trip side in every single year is essentially a crosser with a backside in route. Watch what this inside quarter is going to do. You're going to see that it's going to match this crosser. And typically it's going to essentially lurk it to the point where you're going to potentially get an interception. So as you can see, that's really good against crossers. Um, you're also going to get the same behavior. Uh, let me talk about another route combination that is relatively popular from trip side in sets. And that route combination is going to be the uh, the outside apprentice post. So regardless of the tight end here, just want you to mainly focus on this outside player. So you see here, this is kind of a, a standard route combination you're gonna see from trips. Now he actually beats me off the press, but just notice that the quarter matches him and runs with him over the top, okay? Now what you can do to kind of counter that is run a base alignment. When you run a base alignment or just back that guy off in general, what happens when you're in a base alignment, most people like to have their dollar base aligned anyway. Uh, but what this is going to do is it's going to prevent any kind of press from happening. And so what you'll see now is a little bit cleaner of an interaction. And you'll actually be able to see this quarter be able to defend both an outside C route or outside streak as well as a skinny post. So you'll see right here, he's going to match him to the post. They're going to maybe throw that thinking they got you beat. And he's going to match that and play that perfectly. So it's going to, what this concept or this coverage concept does a really good job of is it eliminates two of the best receivers in a trip side in formation, the outside receiver and the inside trips receiver. Now, when you utilize this man up on the number two trips receiver, it's really good for stopping a play such as verticals. A lot of people like to run verticals and essentially this is the setup you'll see from a lot of people. And they're going to try to snap throw this Y route, but when you man this up, he's going to play it pretty well um, over there on the left-hand side. So by using that man up, you really um, have a good chance to be able to stop a lot of things that trip side insets are going to do. And what this essentially allows you to do as a user is it allows you to key in on the tight end. So what I like to do uh, with the rest of the coverage here to kind of close everything down is really you could just run it just like this. I mean, this is a very simple way to run it. This vertical hook is gonna do a really good job at defending any kind of crossing route, like little uh, slant or anything coming over there on that, that, uh, that right-hand side. And then also it's gonna do a good job of defending the running back on a wheel or anything like that. So this is a fairly simple setup. And then from a user responsibility, if you wanna just know what your job is here on this play, 
your primary job is you're going to basically climb with the tight end. And if the tight end runs a post route, you're going to basically run with the tight end on the post. So you'll see here, we're just going to kind of climb. Okay, he runs a post. We'll just take him across the formation. And as you can see, everything else is pretty much bags up out of this trips tight end defense. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about the dollar defense, make sure you join the Patreon for just $10. You'll be able to get access to our entire defensive ebook on this, as well as everything else we have at the Patreon to make yourself a better Madden player. Thanks for watching the video and to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.